episode of Canadian Retro Things. In a video I did a little while ago, you may have seen, I uh, tried to hook my uh, TRS-80 Coco 2 up to this 1979 Panasonic Beast and uh, use it for a TV plus a saving and loading device. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up there and I'll put a link down there. Check it out. Uh, so, I was successful in getting the computer to hook up to the TV. I was successful in, uh, semi-successful in getting programs to load. A little secret was to turn the TV off so there was no static interference on the line when it was outputting to the computer. But I could not get it to properly save a program with any, uh, uh, good quality that I could reload it. So... Uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take this apart, check the solder joints on the microphone line, clean the uh, recording heads, and then give it another try. Alright, let's get started. Now one of the really nice things about these old Panasonic uh, units is that they have nice little arrows pointing to each of the screws that you have to take out to get it apart. So. We will start doing that. Well, there's always got to be one screw that's completely stripped. So, had to use some needle nose pliers to grip onto that and ratchet it out. Well, that's definitely not going back in. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, and there we go. Look at that. Hmm, be a little hard to get into the microphone slots down here. They're down underneath this cassette deck. Might have to take the whole deck out. Maybe first off we'll just try giving it a good good cleaning and see what happens there. So I'll go grab some isopropyl alcohol and we'll clean up this cassette deck. Okay I've been looking this over and it looks pretty complicated to get this uh, tape deck out of here. So what I'm going to do instead, give it a good cleaning, uh, maybe spray a little contact cleaner into those uh, ports and see if that helps at all. So we've got some 91% uh, IPA here, so we'll clean the heads. Give the pinch roller a little clean here. And just give it a little cl general clean here. Get some of the grime out of here. All right, there we go. A little little bit cleaner in there. Hopefully those heads are a little bit cleaner. Now let's give it a shot of contact cleaner. There we go. Now I'm going to go get uh, tape and I'm going to just try it out as is and I'll hook a microphone up and let's see what we get. A 
Okay, the microphones do not seem to work with this. Maybe it's because they're powered mics, I don't know. I guess the next best thing is to hook up one of the computers and uh, go from there. Okay, I uh, did not think this through too well. My uh, Coco 2 is uh, in disposed right now in another project, so I've uh, gone with everybody's favorite TRS-80, the MC-10. Okay, so we've got this uh, little program downloaded in. This is from the uh, TRS-80 Color Computer Programs book. It's A to start, and it's just a graphic, little of a graphics program. So there we go. Now what we're going to do, break on that, and then we're going to get this tape ready. That in. Hook up the microphone. And then we're going to save this as Sparkle 2. Okay, so then what we have to do is turn off the TV. Hit record and hit enter. And unfortunately, uh, the uh, on the MC10 it doesn't automatically stop the tape or anything, so I can't see what's going on. So I've just got to let it run long enough. And I will assume that that's long enough. Turn that back on. All right, now we will rewind, turn it off, turn it back on, Try to load. Oh man, that's a blurry, blurry screen today. The more electronics I have plugged in around this thing, the worse the screen is. All right, so we will turn you off. Hit enter. Hit play, and let it play for a minute. And that should be long enough. Stop it. Turn you on. And are we going to have an error? No, it worked. Just a second here. There we go. The program loaded. We will run it. Sparkle. And it works. I now have this thing properly saving, loading, and showing picture. So in essence, this is a, if, as long as I have a uh, power pack to run the computer, I could uh, take this anywhere with me and uh, make my Cheris 80 computer portable. There we go. I got the TV working to load programs, to save programs, and to, you know, run things on the TV. So I count this as a complete success. All it took was a little bit of uh, cleaning on the inside, a little cleaning of the record heads, the playing heads, the little shot of uh, contact cleaner into the input and output uh, um, jacks, and it works. I am so happy. Um, I love it when things like this work out. When 
things you wouldn't think to put together or things that are a little strange to put together and they work. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me get this up and running. If you like the video, you can uh, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel. You can comment below. Heck, you could even do all three if you wanted. Every little interaction is greatly appreciated and helps my channel out a lot. All right, well, I'm going to play some video games on this now and uh, see you in the next video.